cancers this is your bonus love and relationship reading this is going to be for your sun moon rising and venus signs if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're returning welcome back all right so the first three cards that came out for you guys is the two of swords the three of pentacles and the page of wands so some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and I see something working out. Now, what I do see is someone being at a stalemate with the two of swords, someone trying to figure out what it is that they want to do, which direction that they want to go in, but somebody's heart is blocked. So let's see where this goes. Um, also with the three of pentacles, I feel like there's going to be a sense of compromising with someone or someone wanting to compromise with you. I'm picking up the energy that you guys could be dealing with someone who is married or in another committed situation, but this person still wants to come towards you. They still want a connection with you. Yeah. And they don't know how to play this because we have the nine of swords and we have the eight of pentacles. So I'm picking up the energy cancers that someone still wants a connection with you, even though they're committed or married to someone else. Could be a... Um, earth sign you're dealing with a virgo Taurus, or a capricorn or an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius spare what messages do you have for cancers what do they need to know about this situation that they're in for those of you that are resonating with this situation this person is coming back towards you to offer you love with the knight of cups they are not giving up on this you guys may be going through something right now but they have their eyes on this situation big time Okay, they don't know how to play this though. They don't know what to do about it because I feel like whatever the situation is um, that this person is in, they find it really, really hard to, I feel like they're trying to please both people, you and someone else, and they're finding it hard to do so, but they're not willing to give up on you because they're, they still want this. They want to fight for this. They want to make this work. They're coming towards you with the Knight of Cups. Um, now keep in mind, Knights are movement but they're also flighty okay uh night they can be here one minute gone the next and i feel like this person may pull away from you a lot they may become very distant and cold and you know and then they come back around and i feel like that's something that some of you may be going through that you do not like and you don't want to deal with with this person yeah look at that five of swords there's two people in this car and this person is looking at both people like i want both of them like i don't want to make a choice here spirit messages you know some of you are feeling left out in the cold by this person with the five of pentacles there could also be um i feel like there could be a financial issue here as well that this person may not be telling you about they may be struggling with their finances right now as well and they may want to walk away from the situation that they're in but they can't because their finances won't allow them to they could have lost the job or be looking for a job maybe that pays them more they could be looking at you and what you have and then feeling like they don't have enough or they wouldn't be able to walk away from their situation because maybe you don't know that they don't do a lot in that situation the other person may do more than they do um, and they may be codependent on that person. All right, so we do have the King of Cups here. So this could be your energy because this is a water sign, a Cancer, um, a Pisces or a Scorpio you could be dealing with or another Cancer. But uh, normally when the King of Cups come up, this person is extremely emotional. Okay, they may hide their feelings. Um, they don't want you know anyone to see them being emotional, but they are. And they have the king of swords so someone is trying to be intellectual at the same time but but they're emotional some of you guys could just be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or the king of swords an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius so what messages do you have what messages do you have for cancers all right so there's definitely going to be a reconciliation here but I feel like you're not over something or it's like you don't like the way the situation is with the five of cups and the six of cups. Well, I haven't seen this combination come out in a while. I feel like you're going to reconcile with this person because you love them and you want to be with them. But something still doesn't sit right with you. Now, I'm also picking up the energy that the universe is saying um, something happened here with a third party situation. And you're just focusing on what went wrong, but you don't see the two cups standing in an upright position behind you with the promise of love. 
Okay, so if this person comes back and wants to reconcile with you, I feel like this is going to work out, but you don't trust it. It's like you don't trust the situation. You feel like you're going to take this person back and then you guys are going to go through the same thing all over again. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for cancers? All right, we can get all the court cards here. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, regardless of the astrological sign, you really love this person and they love you, but you're disappointed in everything that has happened. And you're like, I don't know how to still be with this person and still deal with everything that you've gone through. So whatever this person put you through, it's like you're trying to find a way to move past it, but it's hard. And in order for you to come back together with this person, and have what you want to have here, Cancers. It's like you're going to have to let something go. But you're, it, you're finding it hard to do so. For some of you, I feel like this person may have had a baby. I don't know where I, why I'm feeling that and why I'm channeling that. But um, this may be for someone uh, specifically. Not, you know, for everyone. This is not going to be everyone's story. But for those of you who are resonating with this, I feel like you're trying to find a way to handle something or get past something. Maybe this person is coming back around to you, telling you they still want this connection. They still love you. You still love them. But you're like, I'm not over what you did. I don't know how to get past what you did. Especially if it involves a third party situation, because I feel like this person broke your heart. All right, so let's get some more. Let's see where this goes. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for cancers? What do they need to know? What do they need to look out for? I tried to prevent that card from falling on the floor, but it fell anyway. Give me one second. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, and this person is bringing you in a solid offer. It's like they're bringing you what they can. I'll say that because, you know, pages are young in energy and emotions, and they lack effort sometimes. It's like they mean well, but they don't deliver the way they're supposed to. They come up short, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Page of Pentacles. Um, they still have a lot of learning to do when it comes to love, when it comes to emotions and, um, you know, just doing the right thing. But I feel like this person's intentions are sincere. We have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person is going to come in rushing towards you. Wanting to explain something, to tell you something, to fix the situation. I feel like they're coming in as a king because we had the king of uh, cups come up. The king, We had all four kings here. All four. You had the king of cups, the king of swords. Um, yeah, king of cups, king of swords, king of wands. So, okay. So, we have all four kings on the board, right? I feel like someone is going to come rushing back towards you, wanting to explain, wanting to offer you something. This person is coming in as a king, but I feel like their deliverance, what they're bringing, what they have to offer is that of a page. So keep that in mind, but I feel like they don't want to lose you. They want to work on this connection. Um, this person is going to still try to hang on to you. So I feel like this is going to be up to you whether you want to give this person another chance because we do have the judgment card here second chances just when you thought something was over and there was nothing else to become of the situation there's a rebirth and a resurrection now i always look at this symbol as the red cross and we know the red cross saves lives right so i feel like someone is coming back in to save this connection spirit what messages do you have for cancers what messages do you have for cancers I just feel like this person is sincere. It's like um, their intentions are good. So keep that in mind, Cancers. Spirit, what messages? Yeah, this person's done a lot of thinking. Um, we have the Hermit card here. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. We also have the Hangman, two major arcana. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, okay, or an Aries. Now, I feel like this person is stuck. I don't feel like they're stuck on how they feel about you. I feel like they love you and they care about you and they're willing to show you. What I feel they're stuck on is how to fix this. Because whoever this is, I feel like they've done so much to you because they've put you in 
Uh, what did I do with that card? Oh, here it is. They put you in this energy, the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, pain, sorrow, sadness, disappointment. And I feel like this person feels bad that they did whatever they did to you. And they want to fix it. But really, the only way to fix this is to either walk away from that situation that they're in um, and to show you more attention because I feel like you can't do anything about what what already transpired, okay? That's spilt milk. Can't do anything about that. But I feel like this person knows that the only way that they do have a chance on saving this is to come in, tell the truth, answer any questions that you may have because I still feel like you... I feel like you're in a dark about something. Like you don't know everything. All right. So let's get a couple more. And then we're going to get some message cards. I feel like this person knows like, you know, what they have to do. And they may be a little afraid to do it. Because they don't know what's going to happen. What's going to transpire after they do it. Okay. If they come in, they answer your questions. They tell you what you want to know. Or are you going to say, okay, you know what? I'm done. I don't want this. I thought I did, but I don't. Or will you guys be able to uh, work this out? Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? All right, so this card wants to fall on the floor. Give me one second. Oh, okay. Ten of Pentacles. So this is what this person wants with you. I feel like they may be with someone else that they're not happy with. And they see their happiness with you. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. But it may be hard to do that if they're with another person or committed somewhere else. But they're not happy. They could be with a karmic and they're learning lessons about their soulmate or their twin flame. And that soulmate or twin flame could be you. Okay. I see you getting justice in this situation. I see things will be made fair and whole and just um karma good karma coming your direction some of you could be dealing with the libra as well all right so let's get some message cards for you cancers and let's see what the universe wants you to know spirit what messages do you have for cancers what does their person want them to know what's going to happen with this situation We have whatever. The date was okay. I mean, I don't mind going out again. Okay, so for some of you, you just met this person. You guys don't have a lot of history with each other. You're not sure how you feel about this person just yet. The jury is still out on that. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What does this person want them to know? What is this person feeling and thinking? Hmm. All right, so we have coffee shop. Let's keep things casual and enjoy a good conversation. So this person may want to go out and talk to you about something, okay? Um, maybe trying to make amends over coffee. And then we have poker face. I don't want to reveal how I truly feel. See, I feel like you're dealing with someone and they don't want to tell you their true feelings because this person is not used to opening up and being vulnerable, but they feel like they're going to have to. That's the only way they're going to be able to fix this. And then we have persistent. I'm going to keep trying until you say yes. So this person is not going to leave you alone, Cancers. They want this connection with you and they're going to be persistent. Even though, even though they know they screwed up, they screwed it up, but they don't want to lose you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancers? What messages? We have revealing heart. I want to be open and honest about my feelings with you. Yeah, see, I feel like this person wants to be open. They want to be honest. They're going to be persistent in trying to get you back and to fix this situation. But there's like, I feel like this is how this person is around you. They may act like they don't care, right? But they do. And remember, the King of Cups did come up in the reading. And the King of Cups is like the the king of the poker face like they will act like they could care less but their emotions are like boiling bubbling over inside okay and they they try to hide it so i feel like this person wants to be open and they want to be honest about their feelings and i feel like they're going to do that because like i said they feel like they don't have a choice here that's the only way to fix this oh my goodness y'all cards just keep falling on the floor cancers all right so we have waiting 
the awaited date finally arrives. I'm so happy to finally have this moment with you. Yes, yeah, someone is waiting to talk to you. They're waiting to talk to you. They're waiting to take you out or come over or say something. And we have testing the waters. I'm exploring the potential of this relationship. So for some of you, this is a new relationship. For some of you, it's old and you have years with this person. And for some of you, it's new. Okay, you could have months, you could have weeks. And you're still testing things. You're still trying to see. Um, but I feel like this person may have done something already <laughs> to piss you off. And it may not even been that long that you've been with them. And you're like, hmm, I don't know if I want to be with this person. All right, so we have nervous. I worry about how our date will turn out. I hope you like me. Wow. Yeah, for some of you, this person, it's like maybe you guys had a... Um, for those of you who are resonating with this part of the reading where you're new and you know like new to dating this person you guys don't really have a lot of history in i feel like the first date may not have went too well or maybe you didn't feel like you impressed this person or they may have felt like they didn't impress you and now you guys got a chance to do it all over again and someone is nervous here so this is like a separate story coming out here but for those of you who have history and time in um and years in with this person yeah, they're going to be persistent. They're not letting this go. I did a lot of research and preparation for our date. So they're planning. They're planning something because they don't want you to um, feel like, you know what, they're not trying hard enough. And then we have, unlike the rest, I love that you're different. And then we have drama. Can we let it go and move past this? So let's pull a couple more. Let's see what messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for cancers? Disappointment. Things didn't go as planned. Not sure if it's worth the effort. Yeah, so some of you may date, may go out on a date with this person and you guys may get into an argument or you still may not see eye to eye or you may feel like this person's still lying, that they're, you know, they're not telling you everything. And you may feel like, you know, things didn't go as planned. So what messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for cancers? How will this situation play out? How will this situation turn out with them and the person? We have love at first sight. When I saw you, I knew my life was changed forever. And then we have text call. I love our banter over the phone. And we have sincerity. I have good intentions. Learn to trust me. I feel like some of you are going to learn to trust this person all over again. Or that's where you guys are going to have to go with it. It's like you're going to agree to start over. Um, and just like keep your eye on the situation for those of you who were hurt in this connection. So those are the messages that I have for your bonus love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cries Never Lied to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.